everybody, I am Ushuk Avla and I wrote this uh, book that I believe is going to help you a lot. It is Cast Up Demons and Slay Your Giants. I don't know what kind of giant you are facing today, but I want to tell you, in the name of Jesus Christ, there's power. And if you're a child of God, you can completely and utterly defeat and cast out any demonic forces and principalities. And it is in the Bible. I mean, we, if you look closely to the scripture and the ministry of Jesus Christ, you can see wherever he went, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, and he fed the people, but also he casted out demons. And it is also called cleanse people from unclean spirits. So it is in the Bible, it's super biblical, and I want you to bring this awareness into your life that you can live your life with such awareness and such power of God if you really, really seek the leading of the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth, right, in your life. So one thing I want to tell you, I am going to give you several, you know, powerful things, but I want to tell you there are several spiritual gifts that you need. You need to seek the Lord to give it to you, impart to you, so you can do this like piece of cake. Believe me, a deliverance is overrated if you know the word of God and you know how to use the word of God. And especially according to Ephesians chapter 6, you know what it says, our fight is not against flesh and blood. Our fight is not against people. Our fight is against the spiritual realm, you know, principalities of darkness. Those people are operating with th those kind of powers. So what do you need to understand? What do you need to really be powerful in this school of deliverance is you need God's wisdom. You see, without God's wisdom, we cannot do anything. So we are going to depend on God in deliverance in freedom, slaying our giants. We are not going to depend our own anything. But you need, you know, gift of wisdom, godly wisdom. You need discernment. You need to discern what is going on in the atmosphere. What kind of spirit is really taking charge of the place right now, the environment? You know, sometimes you enter in a room and you feel something is weird. Don't you feel it? In your guts, Something is happening there and you cannot identify it. Sometimes you meet someone and say, he's nice, she's nice, she's smiling, everything is okay, but I cannot put my finger on. Something is wrong. Or you wake up one morning and you say, everything is right, but what am, why am I feeling the way that I am feeling? Where is my joy? What is going on in my life? So when you start feeling those things, what do you need? You need discernment. You need insight of the Holy Spirit. You see how much we are depending to God, to Jesus Christ in our deliverance, walking in freedom, discernment, godly wisdom. Another thing we need, we need humility. Because the devil loves pride. He speaks into our pride. We feel we are right. We feel like we are entitled. We feel like and all these thought pattern is coming from the enemy. You see, you don't have to be possessed, but you can be under the influence of the voice of the enemy. So what we need is humility before God. God, I'm depending on you. Jesus, I can do all things through you, but I can do nothing without you. God's, God's word says, apart from me, you can do nothing. But with me, you can do all things. And you need to understand, this is a supernatural war. And you are a natural, as a natural being, yes, you are spiritual, but also natural. How can you win a war? How can you win a war with the supernatural? So you need the supernatural power of God in your life. And I want to leave you with this. Not believe in demons, not believe in the existence of demons is also demonic. Because enemy wants you to not to, you know, recognize him. You know, if you don't know your enemy, you are already defeated. You, are, you don't know your blind sides. You keep doing the same mistakes, same problems, and same problems are going to reoccur in your life over and over again. So he wants you to ignore him. He wants you to, so pretending like he doesn't exist, or I am an intellectual, I don't believe in stuff like that. First of all, it is not biblical. And second of all, it is dangerous. It is not wisdom of God. It is not discernment of God. But when you recognize that you have an invisible enemy, but you also recognize that you can win against that enemy, you can slay that giant, 
with God's supernatural power in you. That is the wisdom, authority, and power of God in your life.